If you think I'm in the middle of nowhere, you'd be sort of right. This is the Sabi Sands, a wonderfully remote corner of the South African bush. But behind me, unbelievably, is hidden one of the most luxurious safari lodges on the planet. It's Sabi Sabi Earth Lodge, and I promise you, it really is behind me. You stand in the car park, you genuinely think there cannot be anything here. And you walk down that path, you emerge, and here you go. You've just got this splendid view, you've got this luxury safari lodge, and you've got what I think is just one of the coolest places in the bush to come and hang out. And the chief attraction of going on safari is going on safari, heading under the bush to look for animals. But sometimes the urge to jump on the safari truck is offset by the urge to just stay and enjoy an amazing room. This is one of those rooms. Well, it feels like you've walked into a five-star hotel, but you just happen to be in the middle of the bush. Vast expanse of bedroom, mosquito net, very useful, but also looks pretty good. Into the dressing area, you prepare yourself for dinner or matching car keys to go out in search of wildlife. And then into the bathroom, which is also a vast spread. You've got your matching basins, his and hers, his and his, hers and hers, however you've come along. Most lodges have got a swimming pool and the chance to lounge by one with a cocktail or a glass of wine is always welcome. But when it's your own private pool, it's just that added intimacy and a, a very welcome indulgence. So that's what you've got here. Perfect little lounge and then the swimming pool and this is where I think I'm going to be spending a lot of time at Sabi Sabi Earth Lodge. But I am going out on safari here with Ranger Buck Safari. As you'll remember in the past on the show with Ranger Buck, we've been up with Maps Mapanyane and with Janil de Villiers to the Sabi Sands. Janil is on this trip as well, but instead I'm going out on safari with the other guest of note who's joining us this time round, Mr. John Smith. Stuck out here in the middle of the night. Who's the Springbok teammate you want by your side? Sure, that is a very good question. Um, he is my Bear Gulls. I think Donny Rousseau, he's a, he, he knows his way around the bush as well. I think it's pretty much every man for himself. But who can climb that tree faster? Well, uh, hopefully, it doesn't come down to you and me having to try that out. But I hope together we get to see a fair amount of game. And I know with everybody, there's that particular animal for me, it's the giraffe. I just love seeing a giraffe. Always reminds me of a Rob Linda, like the prophets many years ago, that sort of awkward, tall gangliness. What's the animal for you that you always hope to see? Uh, for me, I love an elephant. I've been in the bush, you know, we've done a few walks as well, Roxy and I, and uh, you come across some elephants and you realize just how it's a bit of you the elephant on the charge reminds me of the two occasions in his 111 test matches when John Smith was able to break. We'll see if we spot any elephants and plenty more to see. Ranger Buck has us on safari here at Earth Sabi Sabi. Let's go and see what we can find. Sadly, we've come to the end of our time in the Sabi Sands at Earth Lodge, heading on a one last game drive. Before we do, what's your, what's your experience been like the last few days with Ranger Buck? Been here for a while, two, two nights, I think, three days. So uh, it always, you, you never want to leave, you always want to stay a bit longer. But um, this Earth Lodge has been unbelievable. Uh, we've seen some unique sightings, had some great food. The rooms here at Earth Lodge are just incredible. Um, everything about this place is just oozes. Uh, um, five stars and luxury and uh, the people, the rangers, everyone have been fantastic. So um, there's not too many times you come to the bush and get disappointed, but this has been something spectacular. Indeed it has. Thank you to the team at Sabi Sabi Earth Lodge. We're off to find some final wildlife and live out the last morning in the Sabi Sands. <laughs>